Hi, you're with Chandipur Gurli and let's take a look at the offset function once again. Now, earlier I explained you how the offset function works in terms of the reference so rows and columns. Reference is the starting point. Rows is the number of you, rows you want to go down or up and columns is the number of columns you want to go to the right hand side or to the left hand side. So that was the offset basic as I call it. And now let's take a look at the offset advanced, which also comprises of two other options called height and width, which are not compulsory, but you can use them to have additional capabilities. Let's take a look at this example. We have uh, different products here, again, the same thing and the number of months here. But this time what we want to find out is we want to find out that if I write product one here, uh, we I want to have the total of Jan, Feb and March. And let's say if I write product five here, I want to have the, pro the the total of Jan, Feb and March here. So let's see how can we do that using the offset function with the more advanced capabilities of height and width. So I'm going to write equals to offset. And the first thing again, it's asking me reference. Reference is nothing but the starting point, And I'm going to start from here, lock that. Uh, and the number of rows. So number of rows is going to be, let's say, row number for product one, which is the first row. As of now, I'm just putting that manually, but we would not do that. We would use the match function to automate the number of rows. So I'm just saying one, the number of columns, uh, you don't want to go to the month of January or to the month of February. So I'm not going to write any number of columns. Why? Because I do not want to jump here, but I just want to take a total of all of these three, right? So I'm going to skip that, right? Um, you can also write a zero or you can just totally skip that as well. Next, I reach to height. Height means that uh, now that you have moved from the reference point one row down to product one, from here, how many cells do you want to select, right? So I don't want to select cells this way, but I want to select cells this way. Correct? These three cells I want to select. Okay, so my height is going to be nothing, but my width is going to be three. Right? So let's see, uh, I'm just going to close the bracket. And what I'm going to do is select the entire formula and press the F9 key. Let's see what happens. So press the F9. And it jumps from the starting point till here. And then from here, it picks up three values. So product one, 77 and 181. But that's not what I want to do. I want to pick up 77, 181 and 130. So what I will do is in the offset formula, I am saying that please jump to row number one. But after you have jumped to row number one, also jump to the next column. And from here, please make a width of three. So one, two and three. So uh, my column will then become one. Sorry. So from here, I am jumping to the first row which is product one. And then from here, I'm again jumping to column number one to come to the place where I have all the values. And then from here, I'm saying that my height is going to be nothing. I don't want to select this way, but my width is going to be one, two and three. So what it will do is it will actually form a range inside the offset, which are which are taking these three values and putting it inside the offset function. Now, what is going to happen is that uh, since offset cannot give you three values, so it gives you one value, which is kept here. But actually in the offset function, there are three values. If you press F, no, sorry, if, I'm just going to say column number one here. Now, now, if you take a look at the offset function, there are actually three values in the offset function. So what you could do is you could actually take a sum of these three values and wrap around the offset function in the sum function right this so the offset function is actually giving you three values so press the f9 and the sum function will then take the sum of these three values which is 388 so just wrap around the offset in the sum function right you get 388 now let's just change this to product product let's say five uh, and this is not going to change why because our row number was manual because we were always going to the first row which was for product one but actually I now have to go to the fifth row which is going to be done through the match formula so equals to match match what match this match it where match it in this range lock the range and then zero for exact match now the match is going to give you the row number so as of now let's see if the match is giving me the correct number or not let's just select the entire match formula press the F9 to evaluate that. And yes, the match is giving you the correct row number. So that's fine. And let's just see for product five is the total equals to 265. Yes, it is absolutely correct. 
right? So that is the offset function. And the two parts uh, in the end of the offset function, so I reiterate, are the height and the width. Height means how many set of cells do you want to select inside the offset function, and width is how many set of cells in terms of number of columns do you want to select in the offset function. Let's take a look at one more example. Things will become a little better uh, once you go through this. So you have the number of months here and the number of customers uh, that visited your shop in that month. What I want to find out, define the total customers up till the month of March. So if I've written March here, I want to get a total of all of these three. So let's say if I've written, let's say July here, I want to get a total of all of these, right? So find the customers up till that month, right? The total number of customers. How are you going to do that? So the first thing that I, I will do is find the position of March. So I'm going to say equals to match match what match march matched where match it in this range lock the range press and then write a zero for exact match close the bracket press enter this is going to give you the position of march is three so let's just start counting from year one two and three which is correct let's say i write august and august is going to be eight which is absolutely right so now let's say if i have written august here i want to take a total from here and go up till here right so i will start writing the offset formula so equals to offset uh, my reference is nothing but this point. So lock that uh, rows. How many rows I want to go down? I don't want to go down any rows, but this time I want to select a height. Uh, I don't want to go down columns as well, but my height is going to be how much? Eight, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is I don't have a width as well. I'm just going to close the bracket. Let's just evaluate the formula by pressing the F9 key. So when I press the F9 key, it is also taking customers here. Why? Because one thing you have to remember in the offset function is that the height and the width actually start with one as the counting. So for example, when I write the offset function and my starting point is this, lock that, and uh, number of rows is nothing, number of columns is nothing, my height is actually eight, then since this is the zeroth row and the zeroth column, but that means only for rows and for columns. Height and width, the counting will always start with one. So when, when the offset function is counting height as eight, this is referred to as one. Right? So this becomes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. It is not coming up till August. If you evaluate the formula, you will see that the word customers is also coming inside the offset. You see that? Now what I'm going to do is rather than there are two options to deal with that. So the reference could be from here or you could just add uh, one here. So what I'm going to do is equals to offset. So my reference, let's say is starting from here, lock that. I could come one row down. So one row down and then my columns is nothing. My height is eight and then I close the bracket. Now from this starting point, because I have come one row down, which is right here, I am going to then choose a height of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This becomes my height. And all these cells are now inside my offset formula. Just take a look, right? Up till 167. And all I have to do is take the sum of those cells. So equals to offset. My reference point is this, log that. I have to go come one row down to come to the number area. And then from, I don't have to move any columns. My height becomes eight, uh, close the bracket, press enter. Uh, let's just select and evaluate that. Sorry, let's just select and evaluate that. Yes, it is giving me all the cells. And what I'm going to do is wrap around the offset in the sum formula, close the bracket, press enter, and you have 800. So the total is, is 813 customers. So let's see if that matches. So select till August. Yes, it matches 813 customers, right? Let's just change this, this to Feb. Now, when I change this to Feb, the row number is going to update and it's just going to take a total of these two cells. So I think 157, which is correct, right? Um, the other way you could do that uh, using the offset formula. As of now, my in the offset, my range is start, my starting point is here, but I could just shift the starting point right from the numbers, right? So equals to offset. My starting point is this, lock that. Um, now from here, I don't want to go any rows down. I don't want to go any columns. My height actually becomes two, close the bracket. Now, if you just take a look, uh, it will 
have all the numbers 137 and 27 and all you've got to do is take the sum of these two numbers so around the offset you can use any formula you can use a sum an average or any other thing right so the number is the same now if you just change it here let's say you make it april both the values actually match always remember that the reference is zero that means the reference is zeroth column and the zeroth row for rows and for columns but the reference is the first row and the first column for height and for width that's the little difference in the offset function All right i hope you like this if you have any questions please put them below and you can follow us on facebook twitter or on youtube and read all our blogs at goodly.co.in thank you so much for watching this and you take care of yourselves bye bye